Hi. Hello. Hi, teacher. How are you today, Adri? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm okay. Thank you so much for asking. Okay. Ya, ya se la escucha bien la voz. Yes, thank God, <laughs> right? <laughs> Finally. <laughs> yes. Voy a escribir en, en el grupo de los chicos porque solo usted se ha metido. Está menos raro esto. Voy a escribirles. Sí, es cierto. Hello, Lea Sarai. Hello, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine. You're fine? Okay, yes. nice to have you here. Excellent. Okay, so um, I think that I'm going to start. We're just two, but it's time to start with this, okay? So, look at it. It says good evening, right, first of all. Thanks for being punctual and for being right here. It's time to start with today's class. And this is a little reminder, right? That we are right now in week number three. So for week number three, we are going to be working in section number four. So please guys, I want you to start working in section number four, okay? In that part. So in case you have questions or doubts, you can start working in that right now, but in case you have questions or doubts, you just let me know. You can ask me through WhatsApp and I will be answering all those questions, okay? So we are going to start with this little part. It says top eight things people hate to do. <clears throat> and we have a little list, right? In the first one, we have a stand in line. This is something that I think that most of us hate, right? For example, in my case, when I go to the bank, right? Ah, and there is a long line. I hate it. So I am in agreement with that. Then we have number two, do laundry, right? Eh, so, so, right? What do you think about Adri? Is that true? You hate it or not? No, for me it's easy. Easy, right? Yes. Yeah, exactly. What about you, Sarai? Do you hate? Uh, to do laundry okay. or not? And yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, great. Now let's see. Then we have number three, travel to work. Do you hate that or not? Yes. <laughs> yes, right? Because yes. of the traffic, right? The traffic at Unicaes, mm, terrible. Yes, I hate it. Then we have go to meetings. Being honest, I don't hate this. I don't hate going to meetings. What about you? Do you hate that? Go to meetings. Reuniones, right? Exactly. Meetings is reuniones. I don't like that. You don't like it? No. 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 What about you, Sarai? Do you like it or not? Like it. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. That's so great. Now let's see. Number five, exercise. Do you hate to do exercise? No, I love it. You love it? You are a fitter? Yes. yes. No, but I am. Si me gusta, me desestreso. Ah, okay. Okay, you feel free of a stress, right? Exactly. In my case, I like it, but. When I go to the gym, I don't like to go alone. I don't know why, but I don't like to go alone. So I have always to go with someone. I don't know why, <laughs> but I don't hate doing exercise. What about you, Sarai? Do you hate it? Um... Uh -huh. Do you hate to do exercise or not? Um... Or not. You no. not. Okay. No. Mm -hmm. Great. What about you, Carlita? Hello. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Good morning. Good morning. Good night. <laughs> Good evening. Uh -huh. Good evening. How so, are you today? Good? Good, teacher. 
Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you for being here. Look at it. We are talking about eight things that people hate to do. And we are in number five. It says exercise. Do you hate to do exercise or not? Number five. Carlita, do you hate it or not? Uh, yes, teacher. Yes, you I, hate it. I like aerobics. <laughs> no sé cómo se ah, dice. Ah, aerobics. Inglés. Yes, in that uh, way. Aerobics. Okay, uh, so good. So you don't hate it, right? No. No. Okay, great. What about you, Estrella? Hello. Hello. Good evening. Chef. How are you today? I am um, very good. Very good. Okay. Awesome. So look at it. We are talking about top eight things that people hate to do. And we are now in number six, work in the yard. Do you hate to work in the yard, Estrella, or not? Okay, no estrella today. There's no problem. So, Maria. Perdón, perdón, teacher. Perdón, es que la lluvia. Okay, don't worry. Lado, me... sí, don't porque worry. viene la lluvia. Estaba afuera y venía la lluvia. Don't worry, right? The clothes, right? Don't worry. So, estrella, do you hate to work in the yard or not? Um, no me sale. Number six, this one. Mm -hmm. No, teacher. No. You love no. you love to work in the yard? This one? Trabajar en el jardín, right? That is the meaning. Trabajar no, en no, el no, jardín. Teacher. No, teacher. You don't like it. Oh, it's it's that. Bueno, ¿cómo le diría? Sería por time, por el tiempo. Sometimes. A veces, sí. right? Mm -hmm. A veces. Okay. So let's see. Another person. Maria del Carmen. Hello. Hello, Maria del Carmen. Are you here? Can you listen to me? Hola, teacher. Hello. Hola. How are you Me today? Escucha. Yes. I'm fine. Okay. En inglés no se dice. Ya no puede. I don't believe you. So sad, right? I have a question for you. Ah, okay. So don't worry about it, okay? Just pay attention, okay? Okay. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Hello, Rosa Elba. Yeah. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Good? Thank you. And you? Good. Excellent. I have a question for you. Do you hate to work in the yard or not? I don't work in, in the yard. yard, ¿cómo the se dice? yard. You don't work in the yard. Okay, because you don't like it? ¿No le gusta? No. No. I don't like it. You don't like it. Okay, what about you, Adri? Do you like it or not? I like it, teacher. Yes, me too. I like it too. Awesome. Okay, let's see. Number seven, we have clean the house. Aha, uh -huh. what about this one, Sarai? Do you like to work to work to clean in the in the house? To clean the house, sorry? Or not? Sarai, do you like it? Uh, no. <laughs> no, you don't like no. it. No. No. Okay. What about you, Carlita? Do you like to clean in the house? So, 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 okay. I like it when I have music, right? My music or your headphones and you start cleaning the house, right? Exactly. And then the last one that we have is open the mail. This is something that we don't do, right? Open the mail. This is all. Now you check email, right? Google, you, you check your email in Google. So do you hate it or not, Estrella? Yes? Yeah. Eight. Um, 
open the email. Yes, teacher. You hate to open the email or the mail. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see another person, Maria Leticia. Hello. Hello, Maria Leticia. Are you here? No, Maria Leticia for today. Okay, no problem. So now we're going to continue with this. As you could see, we have the top eight. So right now I want you to create your top three of things that you hate to do. Okay, as you could see here, we have some examples, right? I have to do the laundry every weekend. I hate it, right? You are going to write three things that you hate to do. Look at it. What else do you hate to do, right? So you are going to make a list of top three things that you hate to do, okay? Let me see if you understood. Sarai, what are we going to do? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Eh, vamos a hacer tres oraciones, ocupando las siete. Una de las siete, o tres de las siete. Ajá, exactly. Ajá. It will be your own, sus propias Tres cosas que odian, ¿ok? ¿Pueden ocupar estas o no? ¿Ok? Ustedes las pueden inventar. ¿Ok? So, your top three. In my case, let me see. I will think about it. Teacher, sí, sería I have to do en este y I don't have para negativas. Exactly. Okay. Exactly, in that way. Have que okay. Look at it. Look at my top three that I have right here as an example, right? Look at it. It says I have to commute every day. I hate it. What is the meaning of commute? Alguien sabe? What is the meaning of commute? Mm -hmm. Commute. Este verbo que le voy a mandar en el chat. This one, commute. Mm -hmm. Do you know what is the meaning of that? No? No. Okay, commute es desplazarse o moverse de un lugar al otro. Okay. <laughs> exactly, that is commute. So in my case, my top number one, it will be, I have to commute every day and I hate it, right? Because of the traffic. Then my number two will be, I have to stand in line and I don't like it. When I go to the bank, for example, right? I don't like it. And the number three I have is, I have to prepare classes. Ah, believe me that I don't like to prepare classes, but I love teaching, right? So you see, I don't like the process of preparing the class, but I enjoy of teaching, right? I enjoy it. What about you, Estrella? What is your top three of things that you hate to do? Yes, Estrella? What is your top three? Estrella is not here. 
Okay, so let me see, Carlita, what about you? What is your top three? And... Teacher, está no bien fuerte, bien fuerte. Okay, hold on, Carlita. Yes, Estrella? Mm. Ah, okay. Probably you can turn up the volume, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me see. Don't worry, Carlita. Now let's see, Maria Leticia. I can see that you are talking. What about your top three? Maria Leticia? Córdoba de Castillo. Maria Leticia, I know that you are here because you were talking. Ah, ya apagó el micrófono, Maria Leticia. Ah, Maria Leticia. Okay. Now let's see, Rosa Elba. What about you? What is your top three? Um, I don't have to do clean house. I don't have to clean the house. I don't have go to meeting. Go to meeting. Uh huh. I don't have stay in line. Only I don't have to stay in line. Okay. Thank you so much. Remember that it was going to be about things that you hate, right? So it will be I have to. Okay, I have to stand in line. I have to go to meetings, for example. Okay, but that was great. Thank you so much, Rosa Elba. Now let's see another person. I can see Lisandra right here. Hello. Hello, hello. Lisandra, are you here? Not here. Okay. So let's see another person. Probably Adri can help me. And I have to clean the bathroom and I don't I don't like it. <laughs> Good option. Uh -huh. And number two, I have to I have to wash the dishes and I don't like it too. <laughs> you don't like it. Okay. What else? Um, and I have to travel to work every day and I hate it because because my son is very slow. Uh, ah. So I... <laughs> exactly, yeah, I can imagine. Okay, thank you so much, Adri. That was a good. Yes, Maria del Carmen, tell me. Okay, muy intensa. I have to do the laundry. To do the laundry, uh-huh. I don't have to open the mail. Okay. Um, I have to clean the house. Clean the house. Okay, exactly. That was so good. Thank you so much, Maria. What about you, Carlita? Did you finish? The microphone. <laughs> Ya. Yeah. <laughs> eh, bueno, yo escribí esa, a ver si están buenos. Okay. I have to do clean the house. I, I hate it. Ajá, uh -huh, I hate it. Okay. Eh, I hate cook the diner. Ajá, uh -huh, I hate to cook the dinner. The dinner, perdón. Exactly, ajá. Uh -huh. mm, only teacher. Only that. Okay. Only that. Excellent. What else? Let me see, Sarai. What about you? Um, I have to clean the house. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Oh, I hate it. Okay. Uh, I have to exercise. Exercise. Uh huh. Exercise. Yes. After work, I love it. Okay. Good. Excellent. Okay. Only that? Um, I don't have to stand in line. Stand in line. Okay. Thank you so much. Excellent. Now let's see the last person, Raquel Abigail. Hello. Hello, Raquel Abigail. Are you here? Hello, teacher. Aha. Uh -huh. Can you tell me your, your top three? Um, I have to 
do uh, they drive? I have to. I to do they drive. Aha, uh -huh. to do the laundry? Oh, teníamos que hacer la referente a los que están ahí. No, 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 you can do it by your no, own. Sí. Usted drive, puede manejar. Ah, to drive. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else? I, I don't... ¿Cómo se pronuncia? I, I don't like it. I don't like it, exactly. Ajá, uh -huh. what else? ¿Qué más? I have two day four clothes. No I have two? Dollar ropa. Fold ah, clothes. To fold clothes. Ajá. Uh -huh. What else? I don't like it. Ajá. Uh -huh. I have to do the cook. No sé si es cookies, teacher. Cookies, galletas. Eh, cocinar. Ah, it would be cook. Cook. I, I have, have it. to cook. I had to do day. Cook. Ajá, uh -huh. no. It will be I have to cook. Okay. I have no, okay. to cook. In that way, exactly. Thank you so much. That was so great. So now, guys, look at it. I have a video right here. And today's topic is going to be a little bit long. Let's call it in that way. Today, we are going to start with simple past in regular verbs, okay? So we are going to start with the structure in positive and in negative. So I want you to be careful to take notes, okay? If you have questions or doubts, take notes. And at the end, you can ask me, okay? In case you have questions, but please pay attention to it because this topic sometimes can be not difficult, but hard to understand, okay? So I will start sharing my screen. Please pay attention. And in case you have questions or doubts, let me know because I will be right here to help you. Okay, I will mute my microphone. Give me a second. Learn to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I didn't study. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. All right. Look at it. Here we have a little conversation, right? I want you to now tell me what are the verbs that you can see in the past. Do you recognize some verbs in the past or not? Yes, had. Had, exactly. Uh, what else? Exercise. ¿Qué otro? Yes? Uh, exercised. Exercised. Uh, cleaned. Cleaned. Chopped. Chopped. Visit. Visited. Uh, started. Started. Uh, Watched. Watched. Exactly. Um, only. only that. Okay. ¿Ven algún otro, chicos? Do you see another one, guys? Or not? Buenas noches, teacher. Hello, Lisandro. Hello, hello. Excuse How me. How are you today? Good? Hi. Good, good, teacher. Excellent. <laughs> so look at it. We are in this conversation, Lisandro. Can you see some verbs in the past? Simple Very past? Okay, verb in the past. Aha. Uh -huh. um, 
Or only these ones that I have underlined. Okay. Exercise. Uh, exercise. This exercise. one exactly. Uh, this cleaner, one exercised. Cleaner. Cleaned. Uh, chop, chop, yeah. Shocked. Mm -hmm. Visit. Visit. Uh, visit. Mm. Watch. Watched exactly, and also, guys, look at this one. We have also did the tired, tired, mm, no, because this is an adjective. Tired, mm -hmm. this is an adjective, so yes, also, we have did because the present it's going to be do, and in the past, did okay. So, for have, we have have in the present exercised. Exercise, cleaned, clean, shopped, shop, visited, visit, studied, study, watched, watch. Okay, so there you go with some verbs that you can see in the past. Okay, just for you to, to see them. So now let's continue watching the video. Please pay attention to it. Let's get started by practicing these statements in the past. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Spelling. Watch. Watched. W-A-T-C-H-E-D. Exercise. Exercised. E-X-E-R-C-I-S-E-D. Study. Studied. S-T-U-D-I-E-D. Stay. Stayed. S-T-A-Y-E-D. Shop. Shopped. S-H-O-P-P-E-D. Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would like to get started with positive statements. Before I start though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right hand side of the chart. When talking about the past and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. We need to change the verbs to the past tense and we can do this by simply adding ed. For example, the verb watch. We will change it to the past by simply adding ed. On a different class, we'll learn how to pronounce these verbs and also the spelling rules. Let's go back to positive statements in the past tense. In order to make positive statements in the past tense, we will follow this formula. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples now. I studied on Sunday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will put a complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one more example now. You watch television. First, we will add the subject you. Then we need to include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will add the complement television. Let's learn how to make negative statements in the past. 
In order to make negative statements in the past, we can follow this formula. Subject plus didn't plus verb in the present plus complement. Notice that in this case, we include an auxiliary verb, didn't. And because we have this auxiliary verb, we will no longer change the verb to the past tense. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I didn't study on Saturday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements, didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, study. Finally, we will add the complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one last example. You didn't watch a movie. All right, so I think that that was enough, right? So look at it. Until now, being honest, do you have questions? Did you understand or not? Teacher. Yes? No comprendo la función del did. Uh, okay, I will explain it right now. So look at it. In this case, in negative sentences, did will be like an auxiliary. Okay? It will be the auxiliary that we use for negative sentences. Si quiero decir una oración negativa en el pasado, did va a ser mi auxiliar. Okay? No estudié. Ah, I didn't study. I want you to be careful with this because we need the auxiliary did, but the next verb or the verb of the sentence will be in the present. Okay, so we have did plus the verb in the present. In this case, it will be for negative sentences. But for positive sentences, we need to change the verb. In regular verbs, as you could see, we add the famous ed, right? Look at it, study, studied, watch, watched, stay, stayed, shop, shopped, exercise, exercised, okay? So for regular verbs, because in English we have regulars and irregular verbs, okay? So we are talking right now only about regular and we need to add only the famous ED, okay? For positive sentences, this is the formula that we are going to use. Give me a second because I have it. Look at it, I have it right here for you. Oops, give me a second and I will delete this part. Okay, so there you go. We need for positive sentence, the subject, right? like in a normal sentence, the verb in ED, and the complement. Easy peasy, right? Easy as ABC. So, an example. She, um, give me a second to think about a verb, learn, for example. Learn is a regular verb. So I need to add ED, okay? To make it in the past, ED. She learned French, oops, for example. She learned French the last year. Si queremos agregarle más, right? Ella aprendió francés el año pasado. Okay, we are talking about the last year. That is the past. So that is the reason why we need to add ed in the verb. The subject, she, the verb with ed, learn, and then we have the complement. French, the last year. <clears throat> Until now, is it clear or not? Teacher, y para decirle negativo sería, she uh -huh. didn't learn. She didn't learn. Exactly. In negative, it will be easy, right? For example, we have the subject, the same subject, she. Then we need the auxiliary, didn't. That you know, it will be did not. But 
contracted, right? Didn't. So, she didn't and the verb in the present. This verb in the present, it will be without ed, right? Learn. Oh. And then you continue with the same things, right? She didn't learn French, for example. Okay. So there you go. Do you have any questions about positive and negative sentences? Teacher. Yes. Vaya, los dos son simple, simple past. Exactly. Pero, ajá, cuando vamos a negar, vamos a usar el did not o didn't contractado más el verbo en presente y el complemento. Exactly. Si es este en, en una forma afirmativa, si lo, así lo usamos en el verbo en pasado, nada más eso cambiaría, ¿verdad? Y siendo el mismo tiempo. Exactly. Excellent. It will be in that way. Excellent. Thank you so much, Estrella. Okay. Right now, as I said, we are talking about regular verbs. Okay. Regular verbs. In the regular verbs, we only have ed at the end. Okay. Do you have any question or any doubt? No, teacher. Yes, teacher. Clear as water. Clear as horchata. Teacher. Here. No. Okay, thank you so much. So, if there are no questions, teacher. yes. Este, entonces, cuando decimos, por ejemplo, I didn't, en negativo, entonces el verbo ya no va en pasado porque el, el di funciona como el auxiliar. Exactly. ¿Así? Yes, totally right. In that way. Thank you so much, Rosalba. Yes. It will be in that way. So now I want you to create five sentences. Five sentences. You can use the verbs that we have right here. Okay. For example, watched exercise, studied, stayed, and shopped. You can use these ones, but if you want to use another verbs, go ahead and use them, okay? You will have five minutes to do it. Why five minutes? Because I want you to create three positive and two negative, okay? Three positive, I will write it right here right here two i know it will be three right ah, the teacher right the teacher it will be three positive and two negative okay so you will have only five minutes to do so i think that that is enough okay you can use these verbs or another ones if you want if you have questions or doubts, remember that the teacher is right here to help you.
You are missing only two more minutes, okay? Did you finish, Adri? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Okay, so good. Can you tell me your sentences, please? Only I have a problem. Okay, tell me. With the pronunciation, like, I can't. <laughs> okay, tell me and I will help you, okay? Okay. Um, es que el, el, el sonidito del ED al final, no sé por qué lo, no lo digo bien. A ver, I watched, I watched a movie. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, she cleaned the house. Uh, he played soccer on Sunday. Excellent. Uh, she didn't. She didn't study for the exam. And I didn't wash. I didn't wash the dishes. Exactly. Good job. Good pronunciation. Excellent. I know sometimes it's difficult the pronunciation in the past with ed, but we are going to have a class for that tomorrow. Okay, with each verb okay for the pronunciation we have a technique right there with your mouth and your throat okay for that so don't worry thank you so much that was an excellent job yes estrella thank you so much go ahead affirmative he studied in the university yes. uh, she exercise exercise in the morning uh -huh. i Drank coffee in the morning. Uh, negative, they didn't walk in the park. We didn't sleep in the night. Okay, great. Thank you so much. That was so good. Okay, I could see, you could notice, I think, Estrella used a irregular verb, an irregular verb. She said, drunk, okay? So as you could see, Yes. Drunk versus the drum, ¿verdad? Oh, ya no me acuerdo. Ajá, it will be drunk. Sí, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí, ¿verdad? Ah, okay. Drunk. This is an irregular verb. Drink in the present and drunk in the past. Okay? For you to, to take notes about it. Okay? Excellent, Estrella. Thank you so much. Now, let's see. Do I have another volunteer or do I have to choose my volunteer? Uh -huh. Yes, thank you, Lisandro. Boy, I, affirmative. I shopped the cheer in the store. Wait, I shopped with shopped. a T. Shopped. Exactly. The cheer in the store. store. Uh -huh. I didn't shop the cheer in the store. I didn't shop, uh-huh. Negative, negative. <clears throat> eh, otra afirmativa, they exercise in the park. Uh-huh, good job. Y neg negative, they didn't, didn't exercise in the park. Excellent. He watched the movie. Uh-huh. He didn't watch the movie. Uh, it will be he watched. He did didn't watch the movie. Yes, but audience. in the positive, Lisandro. In the positive, positive. Uh -huh, positive, we are going to make a sound. Watched. Okay. He watched the exactly. movie. Exactly. Excellent. Good pronunciation. Good job. Thank you so much. That was great. What about you, Carlita? You're saying no, right? <laughs> okay, teacher. Bye. I exercised huh? sat Saturday in the morning. Okay. They studied every day. They studied? Studied every day. Exactly. You washed... <laughs> What? What? 
watched with what? a TV. Exactly. Television at night. Okay. In negative, uh, I see. I exercise Saturday in the morning. Okay. And they study every day. They studied every day. Okay. Yes, that was so good. Thank you so much. Just one little thing. Okay. I want you to be careful with time expressions. Expresiones de tiempo. Okay. Because if we are talking about the past, you are going to use um words, for example, like yesterday. Oops. Yesterday. Um, last month. For example, uh, we can say also last night, the last year, right? Oops, give me a second. Okay, last year. And you can go using these things, okay? Last week or the last weekend, okay? Week or you can also say weekend. So you can use these time expressions because if you say every day, this is a daily routine, right? And for a daily routine, we use simple present, okay? So in that case, if I say, I study French every day, this is something that I do every single day, right? So I will use simple present, not simple past. It will be different if I say, right? Yesterday, I studied French, okay? This is about the past. Porque si se usan esas frases en el simple past, se estaría como repitiendo una no. acción. No, the thing right oh, here. No. Uh -huh. I will explain it. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ocupar estas expresiones de tiempo para dar énfasis. Porque si yo digo, por ejemplo, every day, es algo que yo hago todos los días, una rutina. Entonces, en inglés, para expresar una rutina, ocupamos el presente simple, no el pasado simple. ¿Ok? So, if I want to say, I study French every day, in the present, right? Because this is something that I do every single day. It will be different if I say, yesterday, I studied French. Is that clear, Estrella? Sí. Teacher. Yes. Por ejemplo, yeah. escribamos ese ejemplo de yesterday que nos acaba mm -hmm. de decir. Por favor. Do you want me to repeat? Ese ejemplo utilizando yesterday. Yesterday. No, I studied French. Um, in that way. Yesterday, I studied French. Ayer estudié francés. For example, right? It will be in that way. Mm -hmm. Do you have any question or any doubt about it? Entonces, eso se utilizan como para este, reafirmar el tiempo en el que lo hicimos, ¿verdad? En pasado. Exactly. Para hablar del tiempo en el que lo hicimos. Puedes decir el, el mes pasado, la noche pasada, el año pasado, el fin de semana pasado. Okay, you can use these expressions to talk about it, to talk about the past, okay? Thank you so much. Now let's see another person. Let me see, Sarai, what about you? Yes. Um. Yes, tell me. Didn't celebrate el didn't. Exactly. She didn't go to the birthday party. She mm -hmm. didn't shop on the supermarket on Monday. Okay. I watched television yesterday. Mm -hmm. You studied last week for the exam. Okay, good. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you so much, Sari. Just one little detail about the same, right? The pronunciation about watched. Okay, we have watch in the present. And in the past, it will be kind of difficult, right? It will be watched, and then we add another T. Watched. Okay? Watched. Escupimos, Bao, en este verbo, right? Yeah, watched. 
it will be in that way. But right now, there's no problem about the pronunciation, porque no hemos estudiado la pronunciación, ¿ok? Pero solo quiero que quede bien clara la pronunciación de eso. El día de mañana sí vamos a entrar con todo en pronunciación, ¿ok? So, let me see another person. For example, Maria del Carmen, can you give me some examples, please? Okay. She say, I watch the movie in the weekend. Okay. She study every day. Mm -hmm. Every day? Today. Um. <laughs> Ajá. Sería mejor si no ocupamos every day, ¿ok? Porque si um, ocupamos every day, sería una rutina. Um, ok. Ok. Si está ahí. Entonces, si está ahí. De las. Si está ahí de las night. The last one, uh -huh. Exactly, yes. The last one. Uh -huh. What else? ¿Qué más? Um, she didn't shop sometime. Okay. Oh, no. She didn't shop? Mm -hmm. Sometime. Sometimes. Some, mm -hmm. No. El no compró a veces. Mm. It would be better right. if we only say she, he didn't shop. She didn't shop. Uh -huh. mm. What else? ¿Qué otra? Um, um, I didn't exercise today. Excellent. Yes. That was a good one. Thank you so much. Now let's see another person that I have right here. Um, Let me see. I don't have Raquel right here, right? I don't know what's happening. Okay, so I have a Rosalba. Elba. Can you go, please? Yes. I bought some jeans. Okay. Last week. Mm -hmm. I watched television okay. last night. Mm -hmm. I went to the work yesterday. Excellent. Uh -huh. I didn't study English in the morning. Okay. I didn't do my homework yesterday. Okay, so good. Thank you so much, Rosa Elba. Look at it, guys. Rosa Elba used some verbs, buy and go. These ones are irregular verbs. In the past, buy, we say it, but. Okay, in the present, buy. In the past, but. Different, right? We change it. We don't add ed, right? We don't say buy it. No, right? Different. It happens the same with go. We don't say gold. No, right? We say went. Went. This is the past of the verb go. And those ones are irregular verbs. Why irregular? Because we change them. We change them all, okay? It happens the same as the verb have. In the past, we are going to have had. Also irregular verbs, okay? So you are going to have homework assignment. It will not be about writing, no. But I want you to investigate, okay? To investigate, to read a little bit about irregular verbs in the past, okay? Just Teacher. read it, okay? You can go, yes? Teacher, uh, take is the irregular verb. Keep? Take. Take, yes. Take, it's going to be in the present. And in the past, it will be took. Okay, excellent. Good observation, Ivory. It will be in the past, as you could notice. So the homework will be easy for you, right? You can go to Google, right, and type irregular verbs in the past. Just read it, okay? I don't want you to start focusing. I have to learn them all because the teacher said it. No, okay? Only read a little bit so that you can have an idea, 
okay? And for tomorrow, for tomorrow, we are going to learn the pronunciation with the regular verbs, okay? For example, with the verb watched, we have watched because uh, we have in English three different uh, parts like of pronunciation in these kind of verbs. We have ed, we have d, and t sound, okay? So please go ahead and study those things. What else I want to tell you, please? Uh, los que no estuvieron al inicio de la clase, remember that you have to be working in the platform, okay? This is week number three, so I want you to work in section number four. You can start working in section number four, I think. So in case you have questions or doubts, you send me a screenshot and tell me, teacher, I don't get it. Please help me. Or teacher, I have this answer and it is wrong, okay? And I will be answering those questions. So guys, do you have any question or any doubt about it, about simple past? Right now, about positive and negative sentences or everything is clear as water? Teacher, I have a question. Yes, tell me, Andre. For the verb really, why mm -hmm. is... What, uh, why is the same verb in the past and in the present? This is, uh -huh. Yes, this is an irregular verb. So in the present, we have read. And in the past, the way we write it is the same, but the pronunciation is different. We have read in the present and read in the past. Okay, like the color red that is going to be the pronunciation read and red okay okay thank you excellent good question so i can say right i read a book but the way i write it it will be the same right so you don't know if that is present or past that is the reason why we use time expression i read a book yesterday Ah, you are talking about the past, okay? That is another one, excellent. Just for you to know them. Also, people have problems with this verb. The verb say in the present is this one, said. We say it, said, okay? Like in Spanish, tengo una gran sed, right? In that way, said, in the past. We don't say said. No, the teacher said, no, the teacher said, said. That is the correct pronunciation, okay? So. Said is in the past. Said is in the past, exactly, yes. Any other question, guys, or not? No, okay, so you have homework, please do it. Because tomorrow I will notice, right? And be ready because this week we are having a dictation practice. Okay? So that's going to be all for today. Have a good Thank night you. and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye, teacher. Bye.